Hi everyone and thank you for watching another episode of Small Business Architecture. Today I'd like to talk to you about photography and architecture. Photography is a great hobby for all architects and architectural professionals. It keeps your mind creative and in an industry where if you design something today, if you're creative today, you'd be able to see the final product in a year's time if you are lucky. Photography gives you the opportunity to go out and shoot something, be creative and within hours or minutes be able to see the final product. So I call this design fast food or creative fast food. Photography is also very important for your architecture and the work that you have done already. When you think about it, 99% of all people will only ever see the architectural work you've done on photographs. Therefore, it's extremely important to be able to either be able to pay a good photographer or be able to take good photos yourself. After having practiced for 10 to 12 years, even I don't get to see the inside of a lot of the houses that I've designed. Over the years, they've changed owners and you can't just go knock on a door and ask them to walk around and take new photos of your project. To be able to take good photographs, you don't need the best gear out there. But I would say that you at least need an entry-level DSLR camera, like the one I've got here. This is just a standard entry-level Canon 550D with a standard kit lens that you'll get when you purchase this. To go with that, all you really need is a I've got a Sigma 10 to 20 wide angle lens. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can get a 50mm fixed focal length lens. And a must to have is always a zoom lens. There's just sometimes you there's a nice shot but you can't get any closer. But that's really all you need. And you can set yourself up for under thousand dollars which would be under 10,000 Rand and then you will be completely kitted out to be able to take good architectural photographs. Unfortunately it's not only dependent on the gear to be able to take good photos. Photography is a skill like architecture that consists of artistry and craft. Artistry is being able to identify a good shot, light, composition. Those things can all be learned with training and a lot of exercise. Craft is the skill you most need to pay attention to in the beginning. What is craft? Craft is basically how the camera works. Understanding exposure theory, lenses, aperture, shutter speed, focal length. Now back in the day if you wanted to learn these things you would have had to go to courses probably in the evening because you work during the day. These courses were expensive and availability was also a problem. I'm going to show you an easy way to take these camera courses from some of the best photographers in the world. It's very affordable and you can do it at your own leisure. Let me show you. This is a website that I'll be referring to quite a lot in the future. It's a brilliant website to take courses on, on new subjects. Uh, but for this week we're going to be focusing on the photographic courses that lynda.com has got. The website is www.lynda.com When you log in, go to author and go to Whoops, and go to Ben Long, so B for Ben, <clears throat> and click on his link. The first course you want to do is Exposure Theory. That will help you with your craft. Exposure Theory and then Lenses. That, that's how you'll get to know your equipment, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, those kind of things. Those are all things you can learn. Once you've done those two courses, I would advise you to move over to composition. That will help you with your craft. You would normally pay a couple of thousand rand per course. If you become a member of lynda.com, it's basically 250 rand or 25 
dollars per month and you can do as many courses as you like well that wraps up this week's episode next week we'll be looking at post-production thank you for watching